Getting fat is really bad. Everybody knows it. And I got really fat, but today is the day when I lost 5 kgs, which is a good target. But I'm gonna tell you today that why it's bad. Uh, everybody knows about the health reasons and everything. But there is one more key element that you really lose when you get fat. But first, I need to take a shower and I'll catch you, at, catch you back in a second. Okay, so I'm back and I really want to talk about one thing, don't get fat. Now everybody knows the downside that, hey, it's not good for health and everything. But one thing I can say to you that getting fat really wastes a lot of time. Now you will get lazy, you will not get up early in the morning or something and you will lose a lot of time. Now time is, for me personally, time is actually more than money because I can earn a lot in if I save a time. So, and definitely, uh, and after some time when you realize that you are fat, there will be a bug inside you that's going to tell you, hey, you need to get, uh, lose all that fat and you need to get slimmed down. Now, it's not easy to get slimmed down because uh, it takes time, about five or six months or maybe four months. And during that all four months, your life is going to revolve around the gym. Maybe gym, maybe running, maybe cycling, but... For sure, your YouTube playlist is going to change a little bit. You'll be watching a lot of fitness videos and everything. I have gone through with it. And really, my advice is don't get fat. It's really bad. So hit the gym, do a running or do a cycling. Always get that. It's really that much bad. But of course, when you get back into the shape, it really feels so much good. But this video is not just about sharing that, hey, I got really slim. This is a little bit more because I think there is a little bit need that I should share my experience, some of the bad things that I experienced about it and really it's going to make a little bit difference. So let's talk about them as well. So as everybody does when you want to really get slim, you hit the gym. I did the same and I did hit the gym. Uh, I should really name them but I won't be naming them because it would be rude about uh, rude for me but I should really name these guys because they are doing something wrong there. And but anyways, let's just talk about the experience. You may face it somewhere else as well. Thank goodness that I actually didn't got into them. So I went to the gym. I asked that, hey, I want to lose five kgs. That's what I want to do. And they said, okay, how in how much time you want to lose it? I said, I don't know. You are the trainer. You should you should tell me. Uh, I I'm having about let's just say a couple of months, maybe two months. Uh, I want to get rid of that fat. So they said, okay, we can do that, uh, but we need to give you a little bit of the supplements as well. I said on the day one, he said, yes, definitely. Uh, I didn't thought much about it, but and I paid him for a month for the gym fees and uh, the pills uh, that were they, they were saying that this is the supplement. They gave me a tablet and I took it. That's, that's all about it. And the next day I again uh, went to the gym. They said, hey, take this tablet and uh, just work out. Uh, the trainer was working with me, so I said, okay, I'm going to do it. But then I realized, should I really be taking that tablet from a random person? He says, I asked him that, I don't want to take this tablet. What's in, inside it? Uh, tell me what this tablet is for. This, he said, it will reduce your fat. And I said, okay, is that it? Uh, show me the product. So he, he bought a bottle uh, without the label or anything. I said, where is the medical information about inside what's inside it? So he said, hey, you have to trust your trainer. Otherwise, you are never going to lose the weight. You will never get fit. You have to trust the trainer. You have to trust your gurus. I said, okay, I just took the tablet, kept in my pocket and I worked out and then I went to the home and I, I just asked myself, whenever I'm in doubt, I ask myself whether it's right or not. Then I go to my dad uh, that, hey, tell me whether it's right or not. And then I ask for the third party advice. So I asked myself whether it's good or right. And a question that comes up in my mind that, are you going to take a tablet from any random guy on the street? I said, no. Then why are you taking a tablet from any random guy from the gym? Uh, I said, yes, that's, that's actually true. And I throwed that tablet away. I never showed up the gym again. Although I was, I, I already have paid this fees and everything. I never showed up to the gym. Still, they tried to call me and said, hey, uh, why are you not coming and everything? I, I didn't pick up the call or anything. Uh, because there was some trust issues when you are just supplementing the, the people, any random guy. I said, no, I'm gonna, not going to do it. And then I started running in the parks, hitting the cycles and everything. And then again, the bug inside me caught me and said, hey, why don't you do join another gym? I joined another gym. 
and I started running and everything. He said, hey, you need to stop running. Otherwise, you're going to hurt yourself. Running is really bad. And I say, OK, that's a little bit unacceptable. But OK, you are a trainer. I'm going to believe you. I didn't run on that day. Then I meet to a doctor friend. He is my uh, dad's friend. So I asked him, hey, if running is wrong, he said, who told you that? Running is really good. And he said, my trainer told me that if I'm going to be running too much, I may hurt my knees. He said, yes, he's a little bit right, but it's completely wrong. You need to run. It's really good. But again, don't overdo it. Start slowly uh, with a slow pace, uh, then try it for a half mile, then one mile and just like that. And you're going to be completely fine. And I said, I'm going to believe the doctor and not the trainer. So I again uh, started my running and everything, but I was hitting the gym as well for some weight training. Now, after that, the things become interesting. Now, everything really was so smooth in, in this gym. I paid him for six months in advance. That was the foolish mistake. But I, I liked the gym. And one day, things really got bad. I saw that the entire trainer group, uh, not the trainer group, the couple of trainers and some uh, people who were working out there were taking some syringe or something there. And uh, I just stopped there and watched what they are doing. And uh, there was just one syringe. Everybody was taking uh, some uh, liquids. and I don't know what that was. I'm not a fitness guru. <laughs> so they were taking something. And uh, any idiot can tell that uh, this can cause HIV because they were sharing the syringe. Any idiot uh, from a village can tell that. And uh, uh, I really didn't uh, like that. And the trainer saw my face and he said, hey, it's nothing. It's nothing. You don't have to worry about it or anything. Uh, but to be honest, inside, I didn't like it at all. And when I was moving out of the gym, I saw a box which was having all those empty syringes and everything. I really uh, thought that, hey, although he was not forcing me to take all of these, but I didn't like it. And I don't know where the culture is going on for the fitness. I am not a fitness guru. I'm just sharing the experience, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I never showed up to the gym again. And I started running. I started cycling and everything majorly focused on that. Now, again, as you know, uh, I have to somehow uh, do a weight training and everything. And then I, I joined up again at a gym, uh, which was uh, almost a gold standard gym. Uh, I, gold is really far from my house and I, I cannot show up regularly there. That's why. So I, I joined up a good gym again. And this time I liked it. And I'm continuing. I'm regular at that gym from uh, almost two months. I don't know, maybe something uh, it might go wrong, but I have paid annually for that. I'm liking the gym and all I'm doing is running, taking right food and everything. I'm feeling so much happy, so much good. I'm much more productive now, uh, doing a lot of stuff and that's all about it. And by no means I'm trying to be a fitness guru here, but taking any random things like uh, protein shakes or maybe any pills or tablets, I don't do that. I would rather like to take an advice from a doctor that, hey, do I need protein shake? Do I need vitamins? Do I need some tablets? If doctor says yes, then only I'm going to take it because from a guy, he might be uh, just a high school pass out and he's advising me on nutrition. I don't trust it with that. That's that's me. I, I cannot do much about it. And uh, he may be uh, good with the experience and working out. He may be having biceps or his biceps might have biceps, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, that's all me. I really need to get a little bit more. I don't want to be that much slim, uh, but I need to get rid of uh, two more kgs. Uh, surely I can hit that within a month or maybe two months. I'm not in a such hurry, but this is really a good feeling. And uh, I would advise all of you to don't take uh, those protein shakes or those vitamins until unless your doctor advises and that's all about it i'm not being a fitness guru don't watch this channel because i shared a fitness tip this is a tech channel but sometimes i do share experience and i think that's something good i'm doing so that's all about it and uh, that's all for this video and by the way you can watch this great clip time lapse that i took uh, from the visit of my touch that's really nice so go ahead check out it's at the end of the video mm -hmm.